video will teach you how to set up a repeating item question type. Repeating items are useful for collecting information or lists because you can ask for information about each item on a list individually. This is often useful for things like children, cars, members of an LLC, or anything else that there may be zero of, one of, or potentially a hundred of. Here's how you set them up. First, add a question on a new page. You won't be able to set up a repeating item on a page with other questions on it. Then you'll be prompted for all the information about that repeating item, starting with the item name. So for example, in this case, if I wanna gather information about the various children that a client might have, I'll use the item name children. Then I'll set up my initial question and my continuation question. The initial question will ask, do you have any of that item? So for example, here I might ask, are there any children? Then the continuation question will ask if there are any other of that item. So in this case, I might ask, are there any other children? Then I'm gonna wanna ask for all of the different attributes that I wanna collect about those children or about whatever my item is. In this case, maybe I wanna collect the child name, give it the variable name, child name, and the child date of birth. And I'll give it the variable name, child date of birth. Now we're all set. Now we can run our interview and the information will generate into our documents where we wanted them to. So we'll save and run. Our interview will open up in a new tab. The first question will be, are there any other any children? We'll select yes in this case. We'll enter the information about that child. Then we'll save and continue. And they'll ask, are there any other children? In this case, maybe there are two children. So I'll say yes. I could have also made this a date variable. And then it's gonna ask me the continuation question again. Are there any other children? I'll say no in this case. And now I'll be able to view all of the children that I've added, their names, their dates of birth in the format that I entered it in. I'll be able to delete, add another, and if I save and continue, it'll generate into the documents if I upload them.